Hello again, everybody. Playing with the UB Tech UKIT Intermediate and building the models that they have in. So I built this model, which they call a wiper, which actually to me was I thought, hey, instead of building a wiper that's like a windshield wiper, let's build a gate. And that's actually what we built. So I don't know why they called it a wiper, because it looks more like a gate to me. But that's okay. And again, the UKIT EDU, their free app. They've got some nice, they've got these models here. Um, yeah, they call it a windshield wiper. I think it's a gate. It's because of the orientation of how we put the arm on it. Start building. It tells you all the steps. Again, one of the great things about their app is you can rotate the, the things around. And also, it's very step-by-step. -step. So, we're going to start coding this. And again, let's look at their examples that they've got. And they actually have a pretty good example. When run is tapped, if the IR sensor, again, we have a servo on there, and then we have an infrared sensor, and then the rest of it is just uh, build. Like there's a mount for the servo, a base for the mount, mount for the servo, and then this big arm that we just put a whole bunch of pieces on it, and the motor control board and the power switch. So if the IR sensor detects an obstacle less than 10 centimeters, then do this piece of code. Else, do this piece of code. So if it detects something within 10 centimeters, put the servo to zero. Else, put the servo at negative 90. And that's where we get these ifs, and you got ifs, and if else's, whiles. Um, where'd they get that little gray thing? Well, again, everything's color-coded, so the events are there. So IR sensor is there, and you can uh, change the distance, but it only goes up to 20. So we're kind of you are we're always limited in how far that thing can detect. Um, so we got that up there, and zero to 90 makes kind of sense up or down. 90 rotate and erase. But I don't think the 90 is actually calibrated well because I don't think it looks right. Um, and then restart to keep going through the loop. I mean, you could have put it repeat forever kind of thing in there if we wanted to, or repeat until we uh, like turn, put on a button switch and turn it off. Um, just repeat forever if we wanted to. Um, that would have worked also. Um, some people like having lights on things, so we could, could have put an LED on it for like like a red light to stop while it's down and then maybe when it goes up put a green light for people so those are things you could add to there come on but you know the pretty basic code that's nice um and i'll show you here now i did switch something up just a bit um they had us putting the ir sensor back here it was too far it was too far back for me and it was reading uh everything in front so I moved it up a little bit. So here we go. I'm going to hit play. Connect to main control box. Do, 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 do. Remember this. Main control box. It says there's a servo and an IR sensor. OK. Now we can hit play. And it's down because it's at that negative 90. But if something comes up, the gate goes up. We go through, gate goes down. Something comes near it, gate goes up, go through it, gate goes down. Um, and they've got a time on there for one second. Again, we can change that time for how long it takes to do something. A uh, slow movement for this kind of action is, is a pretty good idea. Gates tend to move better if they're slow. Again, I, I don't think that negative 90 is actually horizontal, but that's okay. You could fiddle with that or just leave it like that. But zero is up because of the way we put the this attachment onto the servo. We could have put it a different way and a different number would have been up. So that's something you're gonna have to you might have to play with. Um, what else are the tricks here? Oh, they had the cord going around behind. 
I just thought it'd make more sense. I had to bring it out, bring it out front, because um, I moved my IR sensor up front. They also had this this cord plugging into the top, which I thought that was awkward because of this this arm here, trying to have this plug in up top. So I plugged it in underneath. Um, so those are the little twists and twicks. So it's code still running. <laughs> so there you go. Play with the timing, play with the angles you like, add a light, add a sound for maybe a gate activated could be another thing you could add to it. So lots of things you can fiddle with. Um, it's a nice, you know, so this is a good start at looking at if statements. Have a good night or day or afternoon.